What's up, Lucha Gang? How y'all doing out there, man? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, this My is Lucha Luke. Call me Sir Garcia. <laughs> and I'm Kelly G. Make sure you stay true, hit the like button. And don't be a hater all your life. Subscribe right now. Texas. We got a meeting this morning, a business meeting. We got some special things in the works coming down the pipeline that we'll be announcing later towards the end of the month. But we working, man. We out here working. We got a, a early appointment out here in Dallas. Then later on this uh, afternoon, we're going to go to the studio. So uh, y'all stay tuned. You watching Luciano TV? Look at look how nice Kelly look. Let me let me get this camera. Look at Kelly Jean. <laughs> look at Kelly Jean looking uh, in her business attire. Why? Thank you. Why? Thank you. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I like the outfit. I like. The I whole, picked it out. I like the like he came home with it. He was like, "I bought you an outfit," because I was like, "We gotta get an outfit." And then he was like, uh, "I bought it." He had left to run his errands, and he came home and he had it. And then I was just like. I like it. I just, I'm not big on like patterns and then like. Just say you like it, thank you. The MK, There's like. A cracker Barrel right there. Oh no, I'm good. But I love it. Too late now. Because he bought it, it's comfortable. I love, it was the thought that counts. Thank and that's you. what I'm grateful for. And I appreciate him for thinking about me when he was out running his errands. Just arrived. That girl Myra over there hooking it up with the tamales. <laughs> Thank you. So we got them vegan tamales. You know vegan food? Yeah, I, I mean, I never had them. But All right, I you know food. vegan food? Yeah. All right, so it's vegan tamales, but they're delicious. And y'all gonna, y'all gonna try them. We're the rating right now. Yeah, y'all gonna rate it. Because, you know, I can say whatever, but you guys are gonna be the judge. Judges. Look, look, he's over here right now. Yeah, he is good. Yeah, everything. Bean and cheese, spicy chicken, and jalapeno cheese. I want the chicken. Thank you but so it's much. Not chicken, though, right? It's not chicken. So what is it? It's imitation. It's a, it's a soy protein. Oh, okay. But it's, these are my most popular ones. Like these are the best soul ones. So what's your business? Uh, it's called OMG Vegan Tamales. It's right here if you want to. Uh, okay, so OMG Vegan Tamales <laughs> out of Dallas, Dallas Texas. Texas. Is the cheese real? It's no real cheese. It's vegan cheese. But He's I mean, like, man, you, you got guys, something real? <laughs> you guys try them. Huh? What do you think? Well, you like of course, not the jalapeno no jalapeno, but you guys can try either or. They might be a little messy because, you know, I just made them this morning. Thank you, Myra. <laughs> Let me get you uh, a napkin and stuff. What is that? That's the spicy That's chicken? That's oh. See what it do. Tastes like a tomato. Mmm. Spicy, though. Yeah, the spicy chicken is really hot, but it's... I love I, mean, I love hot. I'm about to taste yeah, one. Yeah, this one is the spicy chicken. <laughs> Woo! All right, people. We just got up out of our uh, business meeting, and it's about 11.46 a.m. We're in there about two, two, three hours we're in there. And those were some good vegan tamales. I mean, good tamales that you couldn't even tell that it wasn't meat. So we just pulled up. It's called Blue Sushi Saki Grill. Let's see what it's all about. Look at Lucky's outfit, though. Turn around, baby. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> 
He got the yellow socks matching his shorts. <laughs> oh, did you bring your mask? No. Oh. oh, no, I got my mask. Right here, you got one? Yeah. Let's see. So I ordered a cocoa hydration, you guys. It's coconut water with lemonade and strawberry something syrup. Something like that. I don't know. But it's cute, huh? I'll tell you what we have. We have the crunchy cabbage. This is the DLT. It's the cowgirl. These two are the we didn't get, we didn't get the fancy Bruh. No. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? We just ate Big Sushi. It was delicious. And now I'm headed to Irving, Texas. To do what? To go to the studio, man. You know what I'm saying? We working out here, man. We gotta work, work, work. With who? Y'all stay tuned. We just pulled up and like he has to use the restroom. I love this mirror right here. I love the vibes in this building. They got a little statue over here. But bro, you just farted. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, I never knew this type of love. You brought me out that wicked place, that place I was. You breathe into my soul, and now you come. Yeah. Father, how is it you let me? In hey. your presence, you accept me. Yeah. All that I done did, and all the time that I was blessed, I was trying to do my thing, but I was deep inside the pressure. Now I'm thinking, do this for the life. In the studio, my boy, young bro. Know you've been so good to me. I know I'm not Holy ground studio, man. In the studio, Holy Ground Studio with Young Bro working on a new song called Type of Love. Y'all stay tuned. We're finna run through a couple other songs that I got. I want to give a big shout out to Young Bro, man. Hey, man. Love you guys. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, studio. man. Studio. Young bro men have been ministering to me, whether he know it or not. For the last six months, he's been ministering to me through his music, man. I be having his music in my AirPods, and I go run in the morning every day, man. If y'all ain't up on that young bro, go get all his music on any way you can get music. <laughs> Stuck in prison, I forgot I'm sure Give them grace in a little space But a little space to make them lukewarm Baptized in the name of Christ Man, I feel fresher than a newborn I'm up against the five, man, it's sanctified But you can't survive, man, if it ain't alive I said Jesus Christ will give it life again Blind man will see sight again You glorify my soul, Lord You don't help me kill my fish walked out of the studio and it was a great session i'm not gonna lie i felt a little awkward because i just felt like out of place like i just i don't know 
I know, but like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like this is guy time and I'm just like in the mix. And, I, I like, I, I mean, I felt like it was a great studio session with uh, Thomas and Young Bro because we got to fellowship and talk about the word of God. And it's, it's, it's a whole different thing when you come from the, from the streets and you're being in, in the studio in a regular rap game. It's a different vibe being in the studio with uh, men of God. I don't know. It's just it's something you can't explain it. You, I, but I, I just, there's a different, there's a di different vibe, a different atmosphere. I agree. And I'm just so proud of you and how far you've came. And just listening to like all the music that is coming y'all's way, y'all stay ready. Like you said, if y'all don't know who Young Bro is, y'all go check out his music. Houston and all the other kids be jamming them and it, it's just like it's it's a different type of music but you can vibe to it not just because it's Christian music or Christian rap doesn't mean that you're like gonna be crying and like thinking about you know just how you've been living or whatever it's a different vibe it's like a different type of worship and you can actually get crumped to it so I can't wait for y'all to hear what he has in store for y'all. But we're about to head to our next destination, which we have to be there at 5. It is about 4.30. I don't really know so much if we're going to bring y'all with us. Are we going to record in there? Uh, we might do a little video, a little quick little, little video. But uh, then we got to head home and pick up all our children. Oh, and by the way, it's raining right now over here in Dallas. So, yeah, that's what the vibes are. Rainy weather, studio session, going to a business dinner. And y'all are going to come with us. I know this vlog has been, like, really chill, really, like, behind the scenes of what's going on. Um, and it was just, like, a quick little mission, little had to do this and that over there in Dallas. So, let's go. Um, but... We'll give y'all more details once we get to our next destination about what exactly we've been doing out here. Sure. So update you guys that we have arrived to our last destination. We're at dinner with, oh wait, <laughs> I'm recording this one. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. So Gina was waving thinking that I was recording her, but we're at dinner with Gina and Craig and all of our crew. Y'all say, what's up? <laughs> we just ate some ceviche and stuff. But remember we told y'all we were gonna let y'all know what exactly we were doing out here and what type of business we were dealing with? Well, I am going to let y'all hear it from the man himself. Hey, don't don't up. <laughs> I like I, lucky I, shoes, that's all I know right now. <laughs> Um, a while back, I, I know I had been mentioning that um, I had started a, a Roth IRA account for um, retirement and a, a lot of uh, under, all rappers don't have anything to fall back on when they get older, uh, like a 401k or anything like that. So uh, my friend Anthony here and shout out to Jake, <laughs> you know, they plugged, they plugged me up, you know what I'm saying, with the how to get my Roth IRA account started. And if any of y'all are interested out there, you know, we can make that happen. Also, a lot of uh, rappers, it's sad to say, die at a young age and then their family's setting up GoFundMe pages to cover funeral costs. And we don't have no uh, money for your family, your kids get uh, left out in the cold because you didn't put no money up. So it's real important to have life insurance and uh, in case something happens life insurance in case you die early and um something put away for when you get older have your money grow with interest for when you grow older in case you you know live longer than expected you know what i'm saying because when rappers get old how you gonna make money man and this don't just go for rappers this go for anybody this can go for in any in any walk of life you know what i'm saying this is something that need be and this is the man that can make it happen right here you know my, my boy craig <laughs> Craig, tell, tell them a little bit about what we do over here. I'll be happy to. Uh, guys, my story, I just came from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. I didn't know how money works. My dad didn't know how money works. And most of the people in middle income don't know how money works. 
And so unfortunately, just like Lucky said, they're not properly protecting their family. That's why they're broke and put up GoFundMe pages. Number two, people got debt and they don't have a game plan to get debt free. Quick question, if you didn't have any debt, how much less stress would you have in your marriage? If you didn't know anybody anything, how much better would you be for your kids? Everybody, but people don't have a plan to be debt free. And then like Lucky said, the third thing for retirement, no offense to the bank, but if you're putting it there thinking you're gonna get wealthy, that is not probably gonna work. So we've taught him what to do. And so what we do is we put together a financial GPS. It's called a financial needs analysis. So if Kelly and Lucky were coming to my house tonight and they got lost, I'd say, well, where are you at? And I'd kind of guide them in. That's all we do financially and it's free, but you gotta be dead serious about your family. You really want to help yourself you really want to help your kids. You really want to change and make a difference because, you know, so many people have got financial curses and they want to change the direction of what passed down. You can't pass down to your family what you don't know. So if you want to get a free education and you're dead serious, then take a visit and let's just talk it through. It's a coaching visit. Nothing's for sale, but we're going to probe and ask questions and find out what's working, what's not working, and then let you pray about it, think about it, and then we'll set a second visit to get back. You got a great guy and a great couple right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, where we come from, we're not taught financial literacy, and we don't really know how to make money work for us. We just know how to work for money. Mm. So that's uh, something that we need to learn, and we're trying to share with the Lucci gang. So, man. As we learn it ourselves. So yeah. that's what's all going on. But we're about to enjoy our dinner, you guys, and we'll update y'all once we're done. So to find out more information, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Type in the comments, your, if you're serious about making this happen, type in the comments down below your email address and Anthony will reach out to you. Ain't that right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell them who you are, Anthony. Yeah, man, so, you know, I, I, I uh, came from making tacos at Taco Cabana. You ever been there? That's what I used to do. And uh, luckily, you know, I got to meet Craig Morgan uh, through this same thing and he taught me how money works. I came from the same thing that we're talking about, right? We know how to make money. We don't know how to make money work for us. And uh, I learned about my own finances. I learned about how to take care of my family and how to come through on the promises. If you're married and you got a couple, right? You got to come through on some promises, but it starts with the education. So uh, put in the comments. We're happy to get with you. We're happy to break this down so you can understand it. We're not here to sell you anything. We really want to make an impact, make a difference. Um, and it's just about education, man, so we can all come up. And drop your name and your email down below if you're serious about making a change in your life. We're about to eat. See y'all later. <laughs> Dinner was good. We're about to get out of here, head back home. We got to go uh, pick up all our children. So. Thank you for coming with us. Y'all stay tuned. Don't forget, leave your name and email in the comments if you're interested in this great opportunity. You're watching Luciano TV. So they invited us back to their home for dinner. And guess what she had made? My favorite cake. Upside down pineapple cake. Way to go, Gina. Good job. Thank you, Gina. Listening spirit there. Would you call me your beloved one? Yeah. I'm swimming in the river of your pleasure You call me your beloved child, yeah Embracing the spirit that you left us You came to take my guilt, you take my fear And I'm gonna lift my hands cause you're right here